Hey guys, Thought Bubble here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a virus or malware off your phone. Now, a virus is any sort of application that makes your phone run differently than it should. So it can charge you uh, on your baking account. It can change your. It can uh, mess with your contacts. Uh, show you pop-up ads, and um, it can just become really, really annoying. Um, I haven't had to deal deal with them in the past, but I know they can really, really mess up your phone, uh, and it just becomes the phone just becomes non-usable. So I'm going to be showing you how to remove it. So first of all, you want to identify what app is causing the problem. So to be doing this, uh, you want to go swipe down, go into settings, and search for apps. Apps or applications. And you'll scroll down and you'll find whatever app you think is causing the problem. Now, it probably won't be an app like YouTube or anything that you've gotten from the Google Play Store. Although, there has been a virus in the past called the Googlean virus. And it infects uh, apps that you can download from the Google Play Store. But I do believe that they've updated it so it has Google Play Protect. Which will scan the apps before they are released onto the Google Play Store to make sure that they are not infected with the Googlean virus. So you're going to want to scroll down, find your app. In some cases, the virus will be at the very bottom. And it will have no name and no icon. And so when you go down into your home, it won't be appearing on your screen. Which will make it, it, it tries to make you un, uh, not be able to detect, to, uh, detect it. So you're going to want to find it. Once you found it, you're going to want to boot into safe mode. Now, safe mode is completely safe, obviously. And uh, what it does is that it takes all of the third-party apps or apps you downloaded from the Google Play Store. Uh, but it won't get rid of like the brow of your browsers and stuff like that. So how to do it is for your Android, you're going to want to hold down your power button. I've got an LG, so it's going to give me this screen. But you're going to have a power off section. Hold that down until it says safe mode. To turn on safe mode, the phone will restart and certain apps will be unavailable to help troubleshoot the phone. When you restart the phone again, safe mode will be turned off and all apps will be available. So now you're going to want to turn on safe mode. I'm not going to do this now, but it's just like your regular phone, except all your third party apps will be turned off. And you also have a little signal down in the uh, bottom left corner that will say safe mode. In a little box, uh, but otherwise your phone will be completely the same. And then again, you're gonna want to go into settings, find your apps, and find the app that's causing the problem, and uninstall it. Now, if you cannot uninstall it, like um, if you guys have that problem, you're gonna it, it's probably a, it probably um, had asked you. You might not remember, but when you installed the app, it probably asked you for administrator purposes. And what administrator does is it can basically just take over the phone. It has permission to take control of your banking account, uh, your contacts, uh, instant messaging, anything like that. It can take control of anything. So you're going to want to search up administrators, phone administrators. And so we've got uh, mine here, secure team, and find my device. Find my device. Um, is to uh, lock or erase a lost device. Obviously, you're going to need that. Don't turn it off unless it is a third-party Find My Device, which very well could be a uh, malware or a virus. Then you should probably look into uninstalling that. Just make sure that you're not install, uh, uninstalling the one that has come pre-installed with your phone. Secure Team just helps me protect against viruses, stuff like that. So once it has, once you're in the screen, you're going to want to turn the apps that you do not want off. It's because those apps are uh, uh, those apps are probably a malware if you've installed them here and they're an administrator. You're going to want to flip this off. Let's get out of the screen. And you should be able to go and uh, uninstall them now, now that their uh, administrator purposes have been disabled, so they won't have control of your phone anymore. So once you get once you do that, uninstall the app. So I'll just go, I'll make an example. I'll go into this game. And you're gonna want to press four stop first. That's gonna stop everything that it does. And then you're gonna want to press uninstall. 
Now, then you're going to want to go into your app trash. I've got one. And you're going to want to delete it here, too. Just to make sure that it's been erased off your phone. And if you've done that, it's it has probably been erased off your phone. You should be safe. Um, I would look into downloading an app that can find uh, uh, hidden apps. So when the ones I was talking about, they don't have an icon or don't have any. Uh, they don't have a name. So I've got this thing called Hidden App Detector from the Google Play Store. It's completely safe. It's not a virus. Um, and it will show you all of the apps that are hidden. And also look into finding another app like uh, Avast, antivirus is a good one, or Malwarebytes is recommended for computers, but also has an Android vo version. Uh, those ones are very good, they're very secure, and will keep your phone uh, safe from any malware, and they'll scan your downloads. So thank you guys so much if you're watching. Um, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, it'll really help me grow this channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching.